How's it going guys, YT Exotics here, and I just wanted to do a video on a spider I found outside fairly recently. So this is a nursery web spider, and they're found quite commonly in woodlands in the UK. But when you actually look at this spider's face shape and morphology, you can see they're actually a distant relative of the Brazilian wandering spider. They're of that same family, Stenidae family. This spider's particular family tree is the Pysoridae, which includes fishing spiders such as the Dolomedes. And uh, funny enough, it's not actually related to the wandering spider at all, even though it is a wandering spider in its actions and the way it hunts. They also build a nursery web, which is very interesting and care for the young. So you'll find uh, stinging nettles and things like that with silk covered retreats all over them. And uh, that's where these spiders care for their young, yeah. So even if they're not directly related, the shape of the eyes and the placement would indicate to me that they are distantly related, even if they're not officially recognised as that. Here we go, if I just get a zoom in of the face, you'll be able to see it's characteristic, you know, the eye arrangement, or in the scientific world, the ocular arrangement. Um, and that's very characteristic of the wandering spider family. There you go, as you can see here. We get an even better zoom. Okay, I wonder if we can go any even more. So there you go, you can see the four classic eye arrangement of the wandering spider family in the middle there. Even the shape of it, the way its legs are, it's very much, you know, of the wandering spider family. So these guys get to around, this one's around an inch and a half, but these guys get to around two inches, maybe more. Um, this one's just shed in my care, so it's going to be interesting to see how big it gets. So if you look online, you'll find that this spider's family tree is currently classified under Pysoridae, and that includes fishing spiders, because they also build nursery webs and have a similar hunting style. But yeah, just this one in particular, this species, is definitely the most reminiscent of the Brazilian wandering spider to me. Even just, like I said, the way the legs are displayed, the way it hunts. It's, uh, you know, somehow along the evolutionary tree, a distant ancestor. Scientifically speaking, it could actually be one of the best cases for convergent evolution. 